and um, well, we had this poll that you started, Nigel. Uh, yes. About uh, what he would do first, and uh, well, let's hope that he has no plans to uh, to fall below 2,800. Today he's yep. playing Sergei Kayakin, the um, opponent he had in New York in the recent World Championship match. Let's uh, see what they come up to with. Where do you want to go first, to the leader? Let's go to the leader. I think that's a decent uh, place to, to start. Yep, Levin Aronian against Fishy um, Island. Yeah, okay, so we have the uh, Catalan, which is um, uh, very popular these these days. And of course, this, this line that Fishy has played with Bishop B4 check here, um, is is to essentially um, uh, it's it's arguing that uh, this bishop is is misplaced on the um, d2 square, yep. taking away that square from the knight. So these are positions that I played with either color. Or um, well. Not, not. I haven't really had these with um, with white. Not exactly. Yeah. You were not All exactly these, a yeah. D four player. Well, I, I've been a, I'm a D four player in more recent years, and I have relatively little experience on on mm. these positions. So, uh, yeah, I'm playing playing them more often. Mm -hmm. That much is is true. Well, the uh, encouraging thing for uh, Levin Aronian is that he. Um, he has a remarkably positive score against Fischi um, yeah. He's Tell us. He, Tell us. Levin Aronian has, already, well, in classical games, has beaten Fischi Anand nine times. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. That's painful. And yeah. he lost five times. So yeah. uh, With I, 27 draws, I see. Yeah. yeah. I don't think many people have such a score against uh, Fischi Anand. Yep. So uh, that, uh, well, should be... But that uh, bodes well, I think, for yeah. today's, today's game. Because uh, Levin Aronian, suppose he wins today's game, that would be a huge step uh, in the direction of uh, tournament victory. He, uh, and of becoming the number one rated player in the world. <laughs> Get, <laughs> getting there, close there too. Yeah. I think he's still in fourth because, place. Because uh, hmm. if, if, for example, uh, hmm. not that I consider this to be likely that, that hmm. Levon scores let's say one let's say he wins both games if he wins both games, games and, then and and there's um, some damage and uh, Carlson draws both games then mm. you may find that um, Levon has become the number one player in the world which will be a real turn up for the books he's not that far behind he's 10 points behind Yep. So that's, yeah, that's you know, it. the uh, scenario that you described yeah, would just probably o Just do. over 10 points, but Magnus, because he's higher rated, will uh, yep. uh, lose some fragments of, of, of points. So uh, I think yep. that would uh, lead to a, a um, an overtaking, or perhaps Magnus would be undertaking. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh, first one to, to challenge Magnus at the moment is uh, Vladimir Kramnik. He, uh, he is only... 6.4 points away from yep. uh, Magnus, which uh, I mean, no which, one has. Which is still a point, actually. It's the yep. same. It's the same gap, effectively. Yep. It's almost and the same gap. So. But really, no one has been that close to uh, to Magnus in a for, in a for, long time. To, yeah. Of course, Vladimir Kramnik. He was modest about this yesterday. He said, "Okay, he, in general, he uh, he doesn't tend to uh, to look at his rating too much or his life rating." I'm not sure about that, but um, I think he, he's looking at it every evening, <laughs> as most as most chess players. Wake, waking up three times during the night just to check whether <laughs> it's it, edged up. Is it still there? <laughs> is it it's still, yeah. yeah, because as we point, pointed out a couple of times, uh, it's one of the uh, hopes he has to um, to keep a very high rating and to qualify on rating for the candidates tournament in yeah. March next year. You are. I'm looking at some, some research. Uh, well, I'm just looking at some interesting things, actually. Um, You're looking at Vashela Graf against Kramnik. To this one. Yeah, these, 
moves went very, very fast in, indeed. They, they got this um, Catalan, and, and now this knight e1. I, I know a lot of... Um, so the, there is a threat to obviously capture um, this pawn. Um, again, here in this, uh, this Catalan, uh, we have the issue of the black bishop on c8 which is constricted and if black can um, sort this problem out um, successfully he can often do all right so knight d6 was played uh, attacking this pawn which is the reason why it's it's defended and now b6 to get this um, piece into into play takes takes and you've noticed that white has control of the, the C file. Uh, it's now gone in a very interesting way with queen B3 and knight B5. And yeah, that's um, strategically, that's a, a very interesting approach. Um, if Black takes Bishop B7, covering the uh, C6 square. White, I guess, is going to to play Bishop F4, and uh, sorry, Knight D3 and uh, Bishop F4. He could even play mm. Bishop F4 right now, but Knight D3. And if this Knight is um, moving. Uh, then he has to watch out for intrusions on on this square. Yeah, this would be very so, unpleasant for black. Yeah, yeah. So he he needs to be careful. So looks like a um, a small ledge. Apologies, I've just got a few sniffles actually, but um, uh, looks well preferable for for white to me. And what happens if he plays knight c4? Well, yeah, that's, can a, yeah, that's, a, that's a, an interesting choice as well. Knight c4. Um, you could go out to f4, although you have to watch out for g5 tactics. Because these, so, these should... You should always keep in mind in this kind of position. Yeah. They, it's, it's a weakening move, but there are situations where, yeah, there where are it's several, just the, several, the right. So. Yeah, several situations when that's yeah. the right move. Um, it's also possible for white to play here. It's a little bit passive. Uh, and after a move like this, knight d3. With a, a tense game in... Yeah. I, in prospect, the, these are the the cliches one uses when you don't yeah. know what you're talking about. So. <laughs> well, at, the, at, at the same time, they're, I'm, 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 they're I'm quite useful. That in this in this game, I'm 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 looking forward to these maneuvers. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's it's strategically very rich. Yeah, and, and Levon Aronian, yeah. he yeah. is very original in his thinking. Yeah, but he's facing someone who has these incredibly healthy and sound solutions for, well, for minor problems. So, um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to, to see the, the, the difficulties that he will po yeah. be posing Anand and how yeah. Anand will reply to that. Yeah. So if we just come back to this MVL game with all... Nine, it, it's as early as that. Queen C... Ah, oh, no, it, 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 C6, Rook C1, 94, Bishop... Ah, Bishop E3 was played in Aronian Wei Yi. Oh. In, um, in Wagonse. Okay, so the, all this had been seen before. And 1991 yeah. 90, is obviously his prepared Novinka. Is that his, the word? Uh, Novinka. Yeah, um, Novinka. His novelty. Yeah, that was what he had up his sleeve. And, uh, well, and then the question just is, if. I know lots of people who just say, that's a Dutch defence, I'm going to play that. You might do that, you're Dutch, aren't you? 
Yeah, but that doesn't <laughs> necessarily mean. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is what. Uh, well, these switches you see, right? Yeah. The, which would lead to. Bedfinning an, used to play this stone wall. He would do that. Yeah. Used to do that all the time. Lousy opening there. Yeah. Mr. Stonewall was not the best of players. Yep. Okay. Well, we haven't looked at Zagiri against Caruana. Okay, so, uh, yeah, after Rook C8, he just uh, has played to, to probe uh, with Bishop F4. Obviously, the bishop is nicely placed on, on that uh, square. And uh, this forced, or um, this forced this capture and now there is the issue of um, of penetration on um, penetration on on c6 so for the moment that is not a, a problem because um, Knight takes d4 is a threat. Um, so it's a question of the setup uh, that we need. Um, I would want to move my queen. I'm thinking actually of queen d1, strangely enough. Queen d1, perhaps. Um, although g5 is something to be concerned about. Maybe g5 is, a, is, is an irritation there. Uh, so, I don't want my knight... After f3, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of semi-worried about this g5 in in a lot of lines i think this is a an idea which uh vichy has up his sleeve very much g5 and if a retreat here then obviously g4 and knight takes d4 comes comes in so he needs to find a way to defend his d-pawn possibly queen a4 but it looks a bit looks a bit odd to play it that way but maybe it's a good move it's a sort of clumsy square for that queen on the other hand it does support rook c6 so there is a point to that. I'd say a bit better for white. That's my, my feeling. Yes, so pre pre precision required from Fischianan. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That, that, that position, that this position could turn sour very, very quickly for, for, for black. So next few moves are uh, of immense importance. If uh, Levon Aronian gets his rook in on c6 and, and doubles, um, then uh, it can be very, very nasty indeed. So uh, he needs to be careful, that's, that's all. So next few moves, he, uh, Vichy needs to neutralize. I think in particular this bishop on, on f so either with something like g5 or perhaps just put the bishop on c6 and, and try and alleviate the, the, the pressure by with exchanges. Yeah, so that at some point when you want it, you can play rook b8, knight b8 to, to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, a nice defensive move at some moment. Yeah. Um, but then you might want to get rid of that. Bishop yeah, you there want to first. get rid. Of, you want to get rid of the the bishop. Bishop is very well placed. So 
how he's going to get rid of it, I think, is uh, an issue of um, immense uh, importance. So let's have a look at uh, Hikaru. This point. So knight f3, fair enough. Um, and bishop d6. I, I mentioned this idea already that um, Vichy wants to uh, remove this this powerful bishop on on this square. In addition, he also gives himself uh, a bit of uh, Luft for his uh, queen. And White has no real alternative but to take it? Or? He could um, allow a capture, but that's, that would be double-edged. Yeah. Uh, his kings, particularly with the knight on, on f5, um, the, uh, the the knight can sometimes come into h4. Uh, d just let me give a stupid line, you know. Just I just want to indicate that this type of position, at the moment, it's covered. But you always have to watch out for knight. That knight is actually very well placed on on f5. So you need to think twice about something like that, allowing yeah. something like that. So, in fact, Levon has just played in a in a direct way. He's defended this pawn. And I think one of the advantages of that is uh, it's um, uh, and this may seem strange to some club players who are watching this, that it protects this pawn, but another idea is that the bishop should come to f1, where it will protect this slightly vulnerable pawn on uh, b5. And, and furthermore, it covers this square, which there may be a, an intrusion, yeah. an invasion on that square. So, in fact, the ideal... Um, square for the for this bishop is here that's where it it's got the the most activity defensive offensive yeah but you feel that anand has had the worst i i think he's i think he's a, a little bit worse actually Still. that's yeah yeah i you know i don't that's just my my hunch that he's a little bit worse. So I would be concerned about an invasion on this uh, c6 square. And if you play. Oh, you wanted knight to. C4? Well, yeah, he's gone rook c7. I oh, had so another. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I wanted. An, uh, I was about to suggest another idea, but. Hmm. Uh, yeah, he's, he's probably going to double. Okay, we'll, um, we'll see. If that is sufficient for Vishyanand. Yeah. And then finally... What? Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn. Baronian, who's oh, uh, this looks got his pleasant, rook pleasant. to c6. Nice. Looks pleasant for white, yeah. 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 Well, to me. I mean, but we're asking you. You're the expert here. Ah. Way, yeah. yeah, white looks slightly better. Well, the point is it's also hard for him to infiltrate and uh, I don't think B4 works yet. Maybe B4, A, B4. Queen, C4. Ah. It's going to be a check, isn't there, if you play? Huh? Ah. Well, you want to go in. Knight F6, Knight E, F6. Knight EF. Oh, you get. Uh, no, we, you know, then we get check and. Knight go five. Yeah, yeah okay. maybe it doesn't work no, yet. No, no, it doesn't work. Because queen d8, knight f8. So if b4 doesn't work, then white should play queen c2. Rook c7? I play rook c7. Well, I think it's hard to make progress for white. 
Okay. It seems very difficult. So and the e4, and e4 at threat. any point, or is that too risky? No, with queen c2 in, yeah. Ah, uh, e4? No, I'm just wondering. If I play knight b8. E takes d. Oh, be careful, right. yeah, knight c6. Yeah, okay. I'll take now, it. We'll take it with the uh, d yeah. pawn. Yeah, black is better now. Well, yeah, I play queen d8. So you have full uh, confidence in Anand's defensive what? technique. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't see a way for White to break this position right yet. Maybe he has to retreat his rook later to c3. But then it's not clear how to make progress. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we gave up on your game, Hikaru. We well, we were just <laughs> looking at uh, the Mike, games. Just, yeah. yeah, just sit down, Hikaru. Come and come, no, come and sit no, down. No. Random thoughts. Sorry. Yeah, let's get you a microphone. Hmm. We were just looking at some... Wait, how did he get this? Yeah, we're just, just, the just looking at some stuff. I don't know what the looks, light is. Uh, looks a lot better than I thought it was. For white? Yeah, I didn't think he would even get this much. Yeah, but you can. I don't see how we can break through. That's the, the wrong one. You need this one again. Oops. Because of Nigel said queen c2, rook c7. What do you think? Okay, how did he get here? What, what happened? So it takes... Right, rook c1, queen f4, and he played rook c8 here? Really necessary? I mean, I guess there's nothing better. I mean, white doesn't have a move either, though. That's Wait, one play b4. Uh-huh, that's it. But takes and then rook c8? A1. Can you see No, I mean, okay. I, you don't want but, to but yeah, it's kind of hard. It's like to just sit here. I mean, actually, yeah. it's even hard to even sit here, kind yeah. of. So. Okay, because white has useful moves like king g2 and h4 or, or something. No, this is the position. Yeah. So queen c2, rook c7. So how is a move like king g2? Is that a waste? Knight b8. Knight b8. And if we take and then b4, is that nah, two? Just a draw. Just I mean, there, there, there's no weakness. No, queen <laughs> c3, yeah. <laughs> and if rook c3, then I, I, I can take. And you can even just take, yeah. Yeah, maybe black's already starting to try. Yeah, knight yeah, 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 d6, and then you get, you get an advantage. I was wondering, you can't, e4 just takes a knight f6, right? We were looking at queen c2 and then, uh, and then rook c7 e4. and then e4. Ah, okay, that, that makes sense, yeah. But, I mean, black should just be too it. solid. And yeah. how is your evaluation of e takes d5? Just e takes d5? Yeah. What's your I mean, evaluation? Draw? No, it takes... Are you taking no, you five? No, no, I'm just, just going to take... I, I, you want to take this? If he does, he says black is better. This surprises me. I'm just curious. I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, black... Actually, black should be fine, probably, yeah. Uh, but better? I mean, you would be yeah, playing... Maybe, I mean, maybe black... Yeah, no, actually black probably is better. Because you, 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 can, you can go queen c8, rook a7, and knight c7. And then you just push the a pawn to open the a file. And you don't get mated. Yeah, actually, I, w I wouldn't want to play this. That's why. I mean, maybe it's okay, but I wouldn't, okay. I w I wouldn't okay. want to play this. Okay. I think it's good, actually quite good, good, dangerous. Good. Right. Uh, we'll pass on that and give us... I mean, uh, I think it's going to be a draw, though. And this yeah. looks like a... Ready. A very strange draw. With bishop h7 check, it's a very weird draw. So, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird draw. Just, it's an unusual repetition. Yes. And it's possible that uh, Levon made a, a good practical decision there, because these positions can turn it optically, it looks very uh, promising for White with his rook in on that outpost. But hmm. once this rook gets exchanged, um, the position can begin to favour Black uh, yeah. if he if he doesn't um, uh, if White cannot go forwards. So I think he's just made he's. Also, I will bet he's got one eye on the, uh, the, other the, games. the cross table. Yeah. Because uh, it, it's really not so bad if you go into the last round with a half point uh, advantage. Yeah, and he, he may even have seen that Kramnik is in some sort of danger. And uh, Yeah, I don't so think he's bothered, you know, yeah. if, if, if Geary or 
Yeah. Kramnik wins. They're still going to be half a point uh, behind. Yeah. Hikaru has drawn, and that's the, the key yeah, thing. Yeah, and yeah. And, my, and, and, my, well, my impression is that Levon definitely did not play uh, for a draw. Uh, he was looking for an advantage, true. but uh, at this point he just couldn't see a, a, a concrete continuation. And, and rather than risk it with opening up the position with a E4, which is yep. structurally um, loose, yep. then he has just said, OK, this is a forced draw with Bishop H7, yeah. and um, let's go for it. You may also remember last year's uh, Norway chess when uh, Magnus Carlsen was proudly topping the table, and then in round eight he lost to Levin Aronian and yeah. more or less had to start all over again yeah. and win in the last round, yeah. which he did. So, um, let me see. Uh, well, we hope to at least to get Levin Aronian here later. So maybe that's a good, <laughs> that's, that's a good point to, uh, to try to get in touch with Judith Volga because that's what we agreed right. with her. Uh, we briefly go off air, we'll try to make the connection with Judith, then we'll be back with... Uh, We've been uh, joined by Levin Aronian, the tournament leader, uh, who has uh, drawn his game uh, with the former world champion Vichy Anand. Lev, it seems to me you were you were making progress. It looked looked quite pleasant for you. I thought um, maybe you were going to s squeeze him. Um, that was the plan. <laughs> that was the the, yeah. the the plan. But um, uh, did you miss anything concrete? Honestly speaking, I thought that, I mean, probably I played imprecisely because the position is good. But I thought that, okay, this E3 and uh, slow slow uh, approach should lead somewhere yeah because i thought i'll be able to uh play some b4 somewhere and i'll be better but somehow i i couldn't make it work i mean it looked kind of really promising here but uh you know 95 doesn't really work because of takes and uh knight c8 queen c2 at first, this looked really good, but then I realized this is probably nothing. You can probably no, yeah, D7. It does something like this. Yeah, it's very and, nasty. And it's uh, yeah, no points of entry. Yeah, then the king Just comes. comes. The king comes. Yes. K king to d8, and probably you can get draw. worse. You can even get worse. Yeah, if, if you're unlucky. Yeah. And uh, so this was first disappointment, and. Uh, yeah, I felt I maybe this is slightly better for me, but I also couldn't really make it work after queen e7. So I thought I'll be clever. I'll kind of do this and then play knight e5. Right. But uh, when it came closer to a moment, I mean, no, sorry, uh, queen queen c2 first, mm -hmm. rook c7, and then like this. Then I thought he just takes, I mean, even some queen c7, yeah. f4, king f8, I don't see what's the big deal. Yeah. Just queen e7, queen c5 is always there. So it's not a really a winning try. Of course, it's a try to continue the game, but you might get a mixed result. <laughs> If black manages to... Yeah, there is, a, there is an element of danger if you push it too far here, yeah. isn't there, in, no, in, because, in a position like this? Because I thought that, I don't know, for some reason I thought that g6 is kind of forced. Yeah. And, and what was your idea? Then? And, uh, I mean, there are so many ideas here. I, I, I was just uh, enjoying myself, because first it has to be noted that this is actually probably not good anymore for black because of this queen h4 things after queen c5 mm -hmm. at all times i have this queen d8 entry i don't know something. that's a bit mysterious to me but yeah just try to defend yeah king g7 uh, i can't do it yeah yeah, maybe. I, I, haven't, I haven't quite understood what you're doing. That's I was, the, uh, I was yeah. trying to get this queen there somehow. Yeah, yeah. 
But anyway, but, I, but for I'm some sure. reason I thought that G6... Yeah, do you know what we liked? Because 9 4 No, we, we, we liked... Uh, uh, we like queen c, queen c2. Yes. Okay, rook c7. And takes? We like... <laughs> no, I considered a, it. That loses a queen. But then I take and take on c2. You mean take and take on c2? No, 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 h4 we liked. Yeah, I thought about this. Yeah. And knight b8, knight e5. Wait, that's oh, I works. thought to take here. Oh, God, this was too brilliant. Because this, this also works. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really interesting. Because the queen gets there, I don't know what happens. Yeah, I we, might we, take too many pawns. We like knight e5. Yeah, I saw this as well. Knight v8, knight e5, yeah. No, but the, uh, it, was, it was, of course, a blunder. I forgot that he can just play king g8. and Yeah. He doesn't grant me anything, the queen and h7. I thought maybe some e4, but this is, and this is probably fine for black. I thought, even if he gives the pawn away, I mean, he has so much activity. So were you keeping half an eye on the other results today? No. Well, not really. You were no, no. just unconcerned. You came into the game looking to, to win, if you could. You've obviously well, got white page. I yes, played the complex played. line. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. of course. But uh, I know some players who s sometimes, you know, when, when things haven't quite turned out as they would like, they have a quick look at the other games, but you weren't thinking at all, no. wasting your energy. No, no. no just I, I just, uh, I think I, I came to the game uh, trying my yeah. best, but then here I thought I, I'm being objective. Yeah, yeah. I seems, mean, seems fair once enough. I blundered, that he doesn't have to play g6, then I thought... Yeah, yeah. it's not, not clear what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm slightly better if I do some b4 here, of course. But uh, I don't know if, if white can ever win something like this. I, I really doubt it. It looks very unpromising. Yeah, just some, you know... Uh, uh, no, no, he has to stop queen e7, but... Uh, should be slightly better for white, but yeah. not so much. Yeah. Okay, great. So, um, one round to go, and remind me who you've got. I'm tomorrow. playing Wesley, Wesley. your, uh, your relative. <laughs>